Welcome back to allforyouk.com. In today's lesson, I'm going to be discussing how to properly hold the ukulele. So um, it's kind of an underrated aspect of playing an instrument, but I think it's very important to discuss how to properly hold the instrument so that you're kind of in the best position to play um, as you start to practice. So to start off, I'd like to set the bottom right corner here of the body right on top of my right thigh. So see my thigh here? It's right on top of my right thigh, um, pretty much right in the middle. Uh, you don't really want to have it centered over here. I uh, really kind of want to be over here. Now the reason I like to do that is because now this kind of lines me up straight down the middle of the ukulele. So I can look to my right hand and I can also look to my left hand because having your vision at the best position is probably going to be to your benefit as you play. So, which brings me kind of to my next point, um, the angle that you want to hold the ukulele. I like to play at about a 45 degree angle. So I like to hold the ukulele about like this, so the headstock's kind of pointing up towards my left ear. Not too far up, not too far down. Um, so having this angle, once again, is going to put my eyes pretty close to my left hand here. So from the side, you can kind of see where my eyesight is. I don't have too far to look down to my hands. Um, so 45 degree angle, body resting on the top of my right thigh. Um, now, talking about hand position, you want to be able to freely move your elbow, or not just your elbow, but your left arm here, um, so that you have mobility here as you play. So I'll also mention that you really kind of want to be sitting straight up when you play. You don't want to be hunched over like this or kind of leaning too far back. Now, there will be times when you're going to be in an awkward position and you're just going to have to play. But um, as far as practicing and being in a good position to practice, a really good habit is to just get right in the habit of holding the ukulele the same way every time and make sure that you're comfortable when you do this too. Um, so don't put yourself in a position where it's not comfortable to practice. That's kind of one of the main aspects that you want to be happy with when you're playing is comfortable. So, to reiterate, the body is going to be, I'm resting on my right thigh here. I'm at a 45 degree angle and I have my left hand loose here so that I can hold the neck. Now, I'm going to go more into hand positions in another lesson, but to start here with my right hand, and I wore a short sleeve shirt, even though it's still cold here in Chicago, um, to show you that bracing the ukulele up against your body is very important. So I kind of have the face of the ukulele slightly open to me. I don't have it tipped forward. I have the base of the body, you know, kind of opened up so I can see the fretboard here. I want to be able to see the face. I want to be able to see where my fingers are when I'm playing. And my right hand is holding the uke up against my body so that if I drop my left hand, I still can hold the uke here. Now, what I like to do is I like to take my middle finger on my right hand and take it right to the corner here of the body of the ukulele. So, this is where I will determine the point of where my arm is going to rest up against the top of the body here. So, this should kind of stay the same every time you want to have your arm braced up against here. Now, I'll go into this in further lessons when we talk about strumming, but for now, you're going to be bracing the ukulele up against your body. So even if you do lean back a little bit, gravity will hold the instrument up against your body. So you want to keep that tight. The last thing you want is slipping to happen. Um, there's already going to be enough moving components as you practice. So you really want to have this all locked in and centered um, so that everything is kind of in place for you to play and give you the best 
chance to really execute all of the moves. So I've got my right arm holding the uke here, braced up against my body. My left arm is loose. I'm at a 45 degree angle. And my eyes can look down here to the fretboard or down to my right hand if I'm working on a new strum or a finger picking technique, um, depending on what you're doing. But you have a visual of everything you're gonna work on. So here's the position that you wanna be in. And this, having this braced up against the uke right here allows you to freely move your wrist so that you can strum. So a lot of the misconceptions you see around strumming are that you need to kind of move your arm. In my opinion, I think that consolidating everything down and having less motion here so that you can kind of accurately have your hand in position for strumming um, starts with how you actually hold the instrument. So in future lessons, I'm going to talk about strumming more in depth and left hand position more in depth. But for now, this is the position you want to be in for holding the ukulele. Thanks for watching.